Hey there everyone, and today we are going to be creating the synth from Come On, uh, created by Tiesto and of course Diplo. It's going to be in Reason Software as you can see, and it's going to sound exactly like you've just heard as long as you follow everything I tell you in this tutorial. So let's get on with it. So inside a combinator in Reason, you want to right click and create a 4 polyphonic synthesizer. And then you want to click the show programmer button and if yours doesn't look like this then you want to right click and initialize the patch so it just looks like this then right for the analog oscillator you want to leave it exactly at how it is and we're going to create two other oscillators which are going to be a phase modulation oscillator and a multi oscillator now for the octave on the phase modulate mod oscillator, I'm going to bring it up from 4 to 5. And then you also want to enable the second sawtooth wave by just clicking this little button here, just like that. Now for the multi oscillator, you want to leave the octave where it is, but you want to bring the setting, the wave even, of the oscillator down to this bottom wave by just clicking it or I can use this little button at the side just like that you also want to bring the amount of the detune up a bit to around 34 now you want to go over to this bit here where it's got the 1, 2 and 3 this, this means what oscillators are currently on at the moment as you can see only the oscillator 1 is on so to enable these other two oscillators, you want to simply hit the two and the three, just like that. Right. So for the frequency of the four in the low pass ladder filler, you want to bring it down to around 175 hertz, and you want to bring the envelope down a little bit as well to around 29. You also want to bring the resonance up a bit around 10 that will do now we're going to go over to our mixer which controls the volumes of the oscillators now see where it says balance 1 and 2 and it's got this little knob here this controls the volume of the oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 compared to each other so you want to bring the balance down to around 42 now we also want to go over in go over to the number 3 in our mixer this is the oscillator free level so you also want to bring this down to around minus 10 decibels now we're going to move over to our, to our filter envelope and we're going to leave the amount of the attack even where it is but we're going to bring the decay around to 705 milliseconds we're also going to bring the sustain down to minus 35.9 decibels and we're going to bring the release all the way down to 3.2 milliseconds now we're going to go over to our amp envelope and we're going to really bring the decay down a bit to around 3.3 seconds and the sustain up a little bit to around minus 10.8 decibels we're also going to bring the release of the amp envelope to around 256 milliseconds now we're going to go over to our chorus section, we're just going to add a little bit of chorus to make the synth sound a bit more bigger. So um, for the delay, bring it down to 5.3 milliseconds. For the feedback, all the way up to 36. Leave the rate where it is. Bring the amount down to around 
20. And the dry wet to around 20 again. Now to enable the chorus, you just want to enable, you want to tick this button here. And that's going to be it for the actual 4. Let's just see how that sounds now. Now we're going to add some effects to the 4 to make it sound better and more um, epic. So we're going to right click on the 4 and we're going to go down to create and we're going to click the M class maximizer. Now bring the input gain up to 2.3 decibels. We want to enable this 4 millisecond look ahead by just ticking it. We want to leave, leave the attack at fast and leave the release at fast and bring up the output gain a tiny bit to 1.1 decibels and you also just want to enable the soft clip. Now what this maximizer does is make the synth itself louder. So we're going to again click on the maximizer and we're going to create a M class equalizer. Now we're going to enable four things today. It's going to be the low cut, the low shelf, parametric one, and parametric two. Leave the low shelf frequency where it is, but bring the gain up to 3.4 decibels and the Q up to 0.72. For parametric parametric one's frequency, bring it down to two to 6.9 hertz, bring the gain to minus 1.7 decibels and the hue to 1.4. For parametric 2, bring the frequency all the way up to 20,000 kHz, bring the gain to around I'd say about 6.9 decibels and the Q to 3.5. Now what this equalizer does is bring it brings out some more low ends and some high ends. It also brings out some mids a tiny bit as well. So we're going to create another effect and that's going to be a RV7 digital reverb. Now we're going to change the setting of the reverb from hall to large hall. We're going to leave the size where it is, but bring the decay up to 22, the damp to 52, and bring the dry wet all the way down to around 10. Now we're going to right click on the RB7, and we're also going to create another reverb, which is the RB7000 advanced reverb. You want to bring the decay down to around, around 2, there it is, HF damp to 18, and the high EQ up to 32, and you also want to bring the dry wet down to 0. And then we're going to create our last effect today, which is going to be the digital vocoder. And you want to bring it down to the 4 band setting and bring it up to equalizer. And you also want to bring the shift knob here to around 12. So um, that's it for the synth. Let's see how this sounds now. did what you heard at the start is to make that sound like build up and filter up what you want to do is change the frequency the envelope the sustain and the release here so you want to do that by right clicking on the frequency the envelope the sustain and the release and then you can simply draw your notes in or draw the draw the lines in and it will, it will filter up and sound like the real come on song.
like that. So, um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please um, subscribe if it's helped you, because I will have a lot more, more tutorials upcoming.